So what does peak performance look like for most of us? In most cases, it's a nightmare of adapters, dongles, and power bricks, all fighting for space on our desktop. Uh, but what if I tell you there's a next generation dock for a price that makes sense today? The Ugreen RevoDock Max 2131 retails for $299.99 may be the answer. Ugreen has packed a 13-in-1 Thunderbolt 5 docking station designed to be what they call the new king of connectivity especially for users of the latest MacBooks and Mac desktop models. But does it actually deliver on what it promises? Well, I picked up one for myself and I have been using it now for a couple of weeks now. Right off the bat, this thing is built like a tank. The body is a solid piece of aluminum, but Ugreen has added uh, advanced cooling with this dual layer design and has thermal silicone to keep the temperatures in check uh, during like heavy usage. Now it's designed for your desktop with the dual side rubber pad that lets you stand it uh, straight up vertically or you can just lay it flat to save space. But what really matters is the ports. Now up front you get a 10 gigabit USB-C port that can push 20 watts for charging to your phone. You also get two 10 gigabit USB-A ports. And for all the creatives that are watching, both a full-size SD and micro SD card reader that supports UHS-2 speeds up to 312 megabytes per second. Now the back is where the real power lies. Now, you get four Thunderbolt 5 ports, one for upstreaming to your laptop, and three for downstreaming for display, uh, for if you want a daisy chain or use other high-speed devices. Now, you also get two more USB-A ports that uh, comes in at 5 gigabits per second, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port a critical upgrade for those who need some high speed networking. The main Thunderbolt 5 port to your laptop can deliver up to 140 watts of what they call dynamic charging, all powered by a compact 180 watt GAN adapter that's 33% smaller than your traditional power bricks found on other docks. So what do you get with this high end Thunderbolt 5 dock like this? Uh, blazing speed, it can deliver up to 120 gigabits in transfers, meaning you can theoretically move a 21 gigabyte file in almost two to three seconds. Now, this is game changer for a large video edits, 3D rendering, or any type of heavy uh, data workflow. Now, the Ugreen Dot can drive dual 6K monitors at a smooth 60 hertz or a uh, single ultra crispy 8K display. That uh, 140 watt of dynamic charging is also smart charging. It can allocate power to your laptop and other connected peripherals exactly where you need it the most. And for Mac users, like I said, it's very important to note that you must have a model that's either a Pro or has a Max chipset to take full advantage of the dual display support. Now at $299, Ugreen isn't just competing, it's changing the game on price. Now, let's look at the market. Other Thunderbolt 5 docks that are out now are significantly more expensive. Uh, the new Anchor Thunderbolt 5 model that comes, I think that comes in around at $399 or a, you know, a shade under $400. <laughs> Then uh, the new Cal Digit TS5 Plus comes in at a whopping $499.99. Now, what's truly shocking is the U Green dock is cheaper than many popular last generation Thunderbolt 4 docks. Uh, the Avanki Fusion dock costs $359.99 as of the listing of this, as of the making of this video. Uh, and the fan favorite, the Cal Digit TS4, 
still sells around $379.99. Even though Thunderbolt 4 is still popular, uh, there are some other Thunderbolt 5, smaller ones. Uh, the Cal Digit Element Hub comes in at 279 but it doesn't offer the same level of power uh, of, as the next gen U Green. With the Thunderbolt 5, you're getting future proof technology for yesterday's price on Thunderbolt 4 docks. Is the U Green uh, Revo Dock Max 2131 the last dock you ever need to buy? Uh, for a lot of people, the answer is a resounding yes. Now, if you're a creative pro, a video editor, photographer, or developer who needs to, you know, gain more ports for a more powerful, clean, uh, you know, if you have a multi-monitor setup, this 13-to-1 dock is made for you. But uh, let's be real, this isn't this much power isn't for everyone. Now. If you're, you know, someone who just mostly web browsing, you know, you're checking email, this is this is overkill and I wouldn't recommend it. And remember to take advantage of those 120 gig gigabits of speed uh and that display output, you're going to need a laptop that thunder has Thunderbolt 5 ports already in it, like those newer MacBooks and Mac Mini Pros that I mentioned earlier. The Ugreen dock is a statement it's an investment in a clean and powerful workflow offering next generation performance without uh, the usual early adopter price tag. So um, again, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I appreciate you sticking with me for this long video. And again, thanks for watching and uh, I will catch everybody in the next video. I'm out.